So a few days ago, good old fashioned New York Times put out a little article that was called Tinder Hottie Dupes Dozens of Dopes, but it's all a marketing stunt by Ruth Brown on August 20th. This chick, I don't really know what her name is, but it'll come to me again, even though I just read these two articles and wasted my lifespan. This chick is supposedly an actress and a model. When I went on Twitter and saw this, I replied with this funny comment because Papa Gundam is funny. The New York Times says the Tinder trap model claims she's a victim. She's a victim in all of this douchery. I wrote, if she's a model, I'm the starting linebacker, the New York Giants. Most people found it quite humorous because that was the intent. Some people informed me that she was actually an Instagram model. Upon that point, I became sickened. What the fuck happened? What what makes a model today? Any bitch with a fucking phone is now a model. Oh, I'm a model. Oh, where do you model? I model on Instagram in my bathroom, in my bedroom. Sometimes I go out and have sushi and I take pictures of my food. This is what modeling is. Back in the day, modeling meant you had to be a fucking knockout, walk a catwalk on heels so high you are damn near a city skyscraper and look good while doing it. Now it's just some broad rolling around in her bed sheets in the morning and we just go, oh, they're models. It's fucking disgusting. They even have a picture of this chick wearing lingerie that doesn't really help because her body shape isn't overall amazing. I'd say she's pretty average. I'm just saying from the curve in her back and the butt that looks almost non-existent for a Puerto Rican girl, which is very rare. Even with professional lighting and photography, she still looks like a five trying to be a 10. And in today's world, an average girl is treated like she's a nine for some reason. So the Tinder trap bullshit launched on YouTube three days ago. It has no comments because they don't allow comments and the like and dislike ratio is hidden. Do you know why? Because Rob Bliss fucking knows that this shit would be downvoted to hell and the comments would be destructive to say the least. This is supposed to be some sort of social experiment that shows how fucked up Tinder is. Wow, really? Tinder's fucked up? Really? Well, goddamn, what are you gonna tell me next? The sky is blue? Well, holy shit balls, I didn't know. The funny thing is Tinder is fucked up in the sense of guys get it the worst. If you're an average looking guy on Tinder, there's a good shot you're not getting laid if you're in a lame small town. I'm living proof of it. I'd say I'm a solid (laughs) 4.9. He's so sexy. (laughs) And I'm getting turned down by women that look horrendous. It's gotten to the point where I don't use the app anymore. There are women that literally walk around and have fupas hanging over their fucking pants. And they think they're sexy. And don't get me started on the women who sit there and say things like, I'm a single mother of four and you need to have your shit together. Meanwhile, she doesn't even have a damn car and has four kids but three or four different dudes. There was one chick on there who was looking for somebody. She had a child that was like two years old and she was pregnant with another guy's kid on the way on Tinder looking for a date. It still felt she was entitled to some dude who had some sort of great job and life set up. Like, well, what is this? Oh, and the bipolar girls. Uh, I suffer from bipolar disorder, so I might be nice to you, I might not. Like, one minute the chick liked me, the next minute she pretended I didn't exist. She was a stone cold bitch. Why can't you give me the respect? Treated by any stranger on the street. I don't even know why I gave her the time of day. But then again, you're sitting there figuring, well, maybe, you know, she's exaggerating. No, she was tweaked in the head. I knew she was tweaked in the head because she had eyebrows that looked like they came out of a Disney movie. The bitch looked like Cruella DeVille. I should have told her all about herself. She just said, you need to fucking take some makeup classes. Running around looking like you fell into a makeup palette and you think you sexy. You need to stop it and eat a goddamn meal. Look like a praying mantis in human skin. I'm in a polyamorous relationship. And me and my partner, I'm just looking for something on the side. It's just like fucking ridiculous. I may as well watch this damn video and try not to lose my mind. Swipe left if you're under six feet. No tattoo chicks, yuck. What is this chick's name? Uh, Natasha, 22 years old. She's real average. She's thin. 
And in today's world, if a chick is thin, she's ahead of the game. And if she doesn't look like Quasimodo, she has like the pick of the litter on Tinder. If you don't work out, we won't work out. No rice, no spice. White guys only. Please be hot. I don't even know what no rice, no spice means, but I guess it must be someone into Asian girls. So this is messed up, right? Right. But everyone seems to go along with it. But would they if someone did this in the real world? someone did this in the real world. We don't even need a video for that. Would they if someone did this in the real world? No shit they wouldn't, cause you know an ass whooping might be around the corner. What if Natasha were to swipe right on hundreds of guys, invite them all on a date? Good move. Let's swipe right on a bunch of guys. Let's fuck with men again. This is the same dude who did the video of, in 2014 of the cat calling chick, where he made it seem like every woman that walks through New York City gets like sexually harassed every three feet. You know, she takes a step and then there's sexual harassment at every corner. He made it seem like New York City was so bad, women were sexually harassed by rats. You know, like fucking Stuart Little would jump out of a bag. Mm, you got a nice ass, bitch. Mm. It's just ridiculous. Once again, making men look evil. What a shocker. By the way, this guy runs a viral video agency, which is suspect in and of itself. And also the video about stopping female harassment. You will notice that none of these guys talked to any other women that were on the street. Apparently they ignored every woman, including better looking women than the chick who's featured in the video, oddly enough. But that's just my speculation. Uh, there's also a charity that you could have given money to to stop street harassment. This Rob Bliss guy is yet to explain to anybody where the fuck the money was going and how the fuck it would stop street harassment. I suspect <laughs> cash grab. In this video already, we're going to fuck with guys as if dudes didn't have it bad enough on Tinder. For God's sakes, let me tell you my Tinder stories. Fuck, I think most of these chicks deleted my shit. I was hoping they wouldn't because like these conversations were hilarious. Simply because I had funny shit to say and they said nothing back. Because, and these aren't even attractive girls, like... Fuck, dude, I'm not lying to you. Seven years ago, I wouldn't even be talking to some of these chicks <laughs> because they just look horrible. I talked to one girl named Sammy. I asked her, uh, what's her favorite food? We can go out and get sushi or something. She goes, no, something about sushi makes me sick, really. All sushi does it to me. And then I go, well, what's your food of choice? What's your guilty pleasure? I don't know if I have one. You don't know what your favorite food is. Do you eat? Do you know if you breathe oxygen? I should have asked that question. I wrote, ah, you're a mystery wrapped in an enigma. What is the essence of Sammy? Sammy doesn't reply to my Barbara Walters comment. I then wrote, full disclosure, I reserve the right to create a fragrance line under the name of the essence of Sammy. With two eyes, you do not have a chance in court to sue me over copyright infringement. Guess what? Little Sammy didn't reply. Sammy looks like Harley Quinn if she had an eating disorder and the Joker left her because she really let herself go in the looks department. I mean, there's nothing special here. The most interesting thing about this girl is the color of her hair. That's how plain Jane we're talking. Yet, she was still too good for me. I'm a dude who entertains thousands of people a day. She doesn't even have a job. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't make the cut, I suck. I wish I could use photos of this to show you guys. But like I was checking into it and I could get in trouble. I apologize. If you saw the photos of this, you'd find it even funnier. You'd be like, what is Gundam doing? Is he going to like a fucking farm and picking out the prettiest goat? Well, hello, you wascally wabbit. Another girl, this one, she was so interesting. She had absolutely nothing to say. We matched. Her name is Ellie. She's over 30 years old. She lives in her parents' basement, and she likes to dress up in a hot dog costume. I'm not making this up. This is real. What's sad is I can't show you photos for fear of being sued. I wrote to Ellie, Hey, I know this is fast and all, but I need a partner to run guns to Cuba with me. Are you in? Why would I ask you? Well, I've never seen anyone with pencils shoved up their nose looking like they could still kick ass or bullshit their way through speaking Spanish. Oh yeah, one of her photos, she has pencils stuck up her nose. As you can see, this is a high-class female. 
this is the type of woman you want to be seen with in public. Uh, that bowl cut hairstyle that worked for Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber really highlights this girl's beauty. This is what I'm dealing with in my area. This is just two stories, but since I'm supposed to be focusing on this, I'm not going to tell you my tinderings. Let's move on in the video. And treat them just like we've been treating each other on Tinder. What would people say? I treat people with respect on Tinder. It doesn't go well. So I've quickly realized holding conversations with all these guys just isn't gonna work. Just too many of them. So I've developed a system. Step one, we message with a guy on Tinder and give him a Twilio phone number. Nice. Step two. It's actually a guy tweeting all of these dudes. Isn't this catfishing? This programmable phone number is routed through an online database. This central hub can send and receive texts and be logged into from anywhere in the world leading us to step three, farming out this texting operation to overseas workers. Over 50 full-time workers help us to text with guys converting a Tinder match into a Tinder date. And if you were to call any- So basically, you really, really fooled these dudes. You really fucked with them. You seriously set all this shit up, had all of these workers having these guys thinking they actually made a connection with someone to then fuck with them. That's what pisses me off about America right now. It's like the average male is always the butt of the joke. We can be fucked with, we can make fun of, we're goddamn disposable, what we feel doesn't matter. We can be tossed around like dust in the goddamn wind. But the second one chick gets treated poorly, everyone is up in arms. Our numbers, they forward to this phone with a voicemail of, so I need a meeting location for Natasha and all these guys. That's why I've created a fake EDM event, complete with stage, sound, and our friend, Nick A. Don't hire Mick AM. Fuck this DJ. He's like, oh, you fucking with a whole bunch of guys? Cool. As long as I get paid. Yeah. Guys will be told to stand next to the stage, and after she says hi to her DJ friend, they'll go off on their date. They'll never expect a thing. They paid someone to do this chick's hair and makeup to make it look like something she could have did her fucking self. Whoever this makeup artist is needs to look into a new job, honey. Or at least fucking spend some time with drag queens. I have better makeup skills. This is appalling. And then you see a black guy just randomly dancing, trying to pretend like he's having a good time. You know, you know he read like the art of pickup or the pickup artist book. The fuck is this shit called again? The game by Neil Strauss. Always look like you're having fun even when you're goddamn miserable and shit's stupid. Oh god, a dude brought his kid to this shit. You can't be serious. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. If I, if I was hooked into this and I saw a sea of dudes standing in one space, nothing but men, and there's a DJ playing, I would have been like, something is fucking up. Something's wrong here. I'm supposed to believe this chick is here to meet me in a sea of men. Something doesn't add up. But that's, that's how the thirst has become now. That's how hard it is to get a date these days. She has bodyguards. Damn, she's got bug eyes. I mean, not personal, but for real. This is what passes. Like She's, she's no Christy Brinkley. She's no Cindy Crawford. She, how is she a model? This is what passes for models today. I feel sorry for you fucking kids. As soon as she walked out with like bodyguards and it was just her, she gets on stage and says, hi, everyone. I would have said, this is a setup. I'm out. I would have walked away immediately before she finished her sentence. I'd have been out of there. Like, great. I just got fucking trolled. Usually women had the decency to be in a relationship with you for a few months to a year before they troll you this hard. What the fuck? As you may or may not know, my name is Natasha. And oh my god, those fucking shoes. <laughs> those shoes are horrendous. Who let her go out dressed like this? Who is her stylist? How could you be a model and not know how to dress yourself? Those shoes make me want to vomit. Oh my god. You think she'd come out in Jimmy Choo's at the very least? I have everyone here today to be on a date with me. 
Oh, now you're in a competition to be in a date with her. Look at all these guys still standing there. Look at these faces. These dudes are pissed. The Asian guy looks really sad, though. Like, he's hurt. He's hurt. That guy with the pompadour and the pink shirt, he was probably feeling those fake text messages. He's like, I finally met a girl. I really like her. <laughs> that white guy next to him, though, he's not having it. <laughs> I will not Jody Foster this kind of behavior. Okay. I have I have 100% time for that. For that joke. joke. <laughs> oh, the black guy looking like LeBron James. He's like, "Man, really?" The dude right next to him though is like his head is peeking out of the corner like, "What what's going on? What did she say? What about a date? Is she talking about me?" <sighs> that black guy at the end looking like Spike Lee's adopted son. He ain't pleased either. Like the fact no one turned around and walked away immediately. Is just like, I'm disappointed in every dude here. The second that if I stayed that far and she said, you're all blah, 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 to get on a date with me, I'd be like, Uber, come get me. <laughs> um, dating apps are very difficult. And I said, maybe I can bring everyone here in person and see how that goes. So do you have what it takes to win a date with me? <laughs> so... Some dude screaming bullshit. The fact there's still guys standing there for this. Still standing there for this. We're gonna start the elimination. Half of you people here are in relationships. So those people should leave now. Anyone under- She's not wrong. If you're in a relationship and you're doing this shit, get the fuck out of there. Like for real. <laughs> I'm sick of going through Tinder and seeing chicks that are in relationships. They're like, I'm just looking for something on the side. I'm like, well, go look someplace else, bitch, because you ain't getting it here. The bar's closed. Here, 510, please leave as well. No beer bellies. No long beards. No bald guys. No khakis. You got to love the guy who's checking his hair in his blazer. Like, I think I could still make the cut. I could still make it. Or is any less than six inches, you know, you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> So anyone named Jimmy, I don't enjoy the name Jimmy. Ready? Go! <sighs> the fact, there's still guys who stayed that long. One, two, three, four, five! Oh, there goes a guy with a bun in his hair doing push-ups to meet this chick. You deserve your fate. This is why you're not getting laid. You're willing to be completely and utterly degraded and dehumanized even further. You went through the dehumanization of Tinder just to get here to be completely made a fool of on YouTube for hundreds of thousands of people to see and you still went along with it. Cause you know somebody had to sign off on this. They had to. Swipe right, swipe left. <laughs> I like his shirt. Swiping left. Dinner. Oh, that's what you get, you dumbass. That guy with the fucking bun in his hair doing push-ups for this chick. As soon as she saw him, she got rid of his ass. You wasted time and energy for nothing. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself as a man. Can we say 5'10 and above? <laughs> Look, they even got chicks, like, moving the guys along as referees. It's a big joke. We're making jokes of men. Look at what men have to go through. You know, it's fucking fucked. On any day of the week as a man, you have to go through shit just to get noticed by a girl you like. You have to jump through hoops just to get her to even consider speaking to you. That's everyday life for a guy. And if the girl you like isn't remotely attracted to you, you could go fuck off. You wasted energy and time. And you will be doing this for most of your life till you finally find one woman you can live with that's not too damn crazy. That probably won't cheat on you, but the odds are slim because, let's face it, if a woman can cheat, she will cheat. And I know they'll say, well, it's the same for men. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, only the really good-looking men. You fucking find out that 80% of men don't get laid. Only 20% of dudes get chicks. Only 20% of dudes get chicks on the regular. I'm in a really shitty upstate area, so, yeah. It, it's not looking good for me. Papa Gundam needs to move. Two, one, Let's see. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck are you running in skinny jeans? Skinny jeans aren't made for running. Wait, maybe they are. They have to be like really elastic. 
So you're like wearing basically man spandex. Look at all these dudes in these skinny ass jeans. What the fuck are you doing? You deserve to be doing this. It figures guys in skinny jeans are running and going through these hoops for this chick. And she's not even hot. Like, even for me to stand around and even listen to some of the shit that was going on, she'd have to be like Cindy Crawford in her fucking prime. For me to even tolerate being in the crowd and hearing and seeing this shit. No, I, I don't even think I could tolerate it for more than 10 minutes. And the video's four minutes and I'm already ready to go. Do you like to travel? I love to, I love to travel. I Look at this girl. She has no jawline. Look at her. My God. She looks like Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. Oh, that boy ain't right. This is some shit. She has no jawline. She's got a puffy cheeks. We got some sleepy ass eyes. She always looks like she's high. So if you went anywhere like a traffic stop with the police, they'd be convinced this bitch was token on the fucking ganja weeds. The travel, I've been to uh, six Excuse me, this shit you just did right here, pulled a stunt on all these men who had stuff to do, it's fucked up. You know it's Look at these big guys dragging him off. Well, fucking, there's still guys around here. Look at all these dudes they got for security. The guy just grabbed the mic. He didn't touch her. He just called it what it was, and they still hopped on him like he was about to rape her or something. Just because someone doesn't check off every box on what we find attractive doesn't mean they aren't. Why? What, what are these dudes doing? Kissing her hand. What is wrong with you? You just got your day wasted for some dumb shit. This is like a guy trying to keep up that whole sort of wannabe alpha male thing. Where it's like you're always in control. You're always having a good time. You're always fine. You're always full of smiles. Fuck that. The first move of alpha is calling shit where you see it. You think a fucking alpha wolf, a male on his fucking land, sees some dumb shit going down and he's just going to let it slide and be like, God, oh, it's all smiles. No, he goes down and then regulates. The chief of the Slews takes charge, attacking the Druid's new leader. Regulates. It's absurd, isn't it? To judge people by such petty things as if they like to wear khakis. We know that. Look at how angry this makes people. And yet, this is what we've been doing the whole time. I guess sometimes you just have to lay a trap to catch people's attention and start a conversation. And that's the end of the video. They even go as far as making it seem like they did a noble deed. Oh, we did this so people know that Tind is bad and people shit all over each other. Like, yeah, no shit. But the focus was on making men look like fucking idiots. Notice how this director I can't even remember his name, but the guy behind the video has made a career out of making videos that make men look like shit. If the video was geared with women in mind in the sense of they went through this hassle of pulling women in, I would have been more interested in it and seen it as something slightly less biased. But let's be frank here. They knew they could weasel a whole bunch of guys real easy because men are 10 times more likely to jump through hoops to try and meet a woman than a woman would be to try and meet a guy. And the only thing this video reaffirms is Look at all the shit a dude has to go through for a chick. Anyway, ending this segment of bullshit, the model herself, quotation marks, who was a part of this, claims she's the victim after duping guys. Ah yes, you didn't expect there to be a backlash, my dear? I'm taking all the hits right now, Instagram model and actress Natasha, oh, I, I can't even read her last name and I don't care, wine to ABC's Good Morning America. Instagram model. What did I say about that shit again? One of the most shit titles on the planet. The brunette finally explained what it was all about Thursday as she said the viral video marketed by Rob Bliss. Notice how they call this a viral video. It is not a viral video. It only has what 250k views now after being publicized all over the internet by major publications. iDubs put out a video like a day ago and got more views in an hour. It's kind of become socially acceptable to like disqualify people and say like you have to be X height and you have to work X jobs. I don't even understand the point of this. So essentially she's now trying to make herself seem like a hero. Everyone involved is somehow a hero by telling everyone something you already knew. I mean it's fucking pathetic. And now she's getting her name out there a bit more by saying she's a victim in all this because some people told her to fuck off. I could have sworn there's some article I was reading where she was complaining that people were mad about her, mad at her and sending her messages and then still trying to date her or some wacky ass shit. 
I don't know how true it is. Personally, I would have fucked off in a heartbeat. She did go on a date with a guy, and what did they say? Uh, there, were no, there was no love connection. What a fucking surprise. Because she has no respect for him. She has no respect for that guy. After all that shit that just went on, she would have no respect for him. She would sit there and go, hmm, this guy jumped through all my bullshit tests and hoops and did everything I wanted. It went on for another group of men. That's not a leader of men. You know, I'm sorry. It's not. He may be in better shape than me and bigger than me, but when it comes to being a man, I've got him beat. He just basically it was your toy to play with and you weren't interested. Cat string theory. Women are not interested in guys they know they can fuck around with. If a woman knows she has the power over you, her interest in you is little next to none. How do I know? I have years of experience. All right, there's a girl I was interested in. And once she knew that she could date me, whatever she wanted, she lost all of her interest. <laughs> it's just kind of like, whatever, fuck them. Won't be so goddamn smug when I get that silver play button. That's when Papa Gundam's going to get his respect. I won't need Tinder anymore. Chicks will come to me. Oh, somebody bought my band CD. Better go ship that out. So on that note, I better get the hell out of here. I got shit to do. Got to make sure I don't fuck up and not send this guy his stuff. This didn't come out as funny as I thought it would. It came out angry because I am angry. It's like, it's just bullshit, really. Fuck you with guys. As if guys aren't fucked with enough on Tinder. 